before we can create macros in Excel, we need to see in the toolbar the Developer tab. If you don't see it, it's quite simple. Click Excel, Preferences, Ribbon and Toolbar, and then down the bottom, you'll see the Developer tab, and it needs to have a tick in it. If there's not one there, tick and click Save, and then you will see the Developer tab appear up here in the toolbar. We're now in a position to create our very first simple macro. We do that by clicking on the Developer tab and look over in the code group to the left and click Record Macro. Now what I've done, I've named this macro formatting. We're going to store it in this workbook, although the choices that we do have are to put it in a new workbook or in a personal macro workbook. The personal macro workbook stores this macro in all files in Excel. We then type a description of what we want the macro to do. In this case, red text, yellow fill, bold and 16 points. Now, as soon as I click OK, everything I do on the mouse or the keyboard will be recorded. So make sure you practice the steps first. Now we can click OK. And then what we do, we go to the Home tab and we say red text, yellow fill, bold and 16 points. And there is our macro. Now what we need to do is to stop the macro. So we click Developer and Stop Recording. We can now test our macro. Let's click here in cell C3 and we're going to type CAT and then we go to the Developer tab and look at the macros and we say Run. And what that has done, it's put the text in red yellow fill, 16 points, and bold. So we know that our macro works fine. Now this would be a good time to save the file. And an important feature here is that the file must have an extension of XLSM. Otherwise the macro won't be available when you reopen the file. So the way we do that, we simply go to File and Save As and we'll call it cats and we're going to save it as an XLSM file there and click Save and there is your file available next time you open the file with your macro. Now let's see how we can edit the macro itself. We go to the Developer tab, look in the Macros, and we choose Edit. And what we're going to do is change the font size up to, we'll say, 26, just so it stands out. And then we close the module, we close Visual Basic, and we run the Developer again, and watch what happens to the cat. So there we see it's been increased very quickly to 26. And that's all there is to editing. You can edit the colours, uh, make the bold false instead of true, uh, and play about with it generally, and you'll see how easy editing can be with the developer tab.